y'all doing? We're in a different day and age, this very day as we are speaking. You know, the world has changed dramatically. And the fact is, is that we are the most educated people that have ever existed on the face of the earth. And I find that to be true. Because, you know, I read the Bible, or I have read the Bible, and I understand what I read. And um, it's not about the Bible. It's about the subjects that you were taught in school. Do you apply these subjects to your everyday life? Now, we're going to see exactly how you can do this. So bear with me, and I thank you for listening, because I came to find out that a lot of people don't listen. They can hear you, but they don't listen. Not taking your advice, not saying like that. I'm not asking no one to take my advice. I'm just asking you to consider or be reasonable, reason within yourself. So that is exactly what should be done when you're listening to me. I must state several facts and then you come up with your own conclusion or your own opinion. All right, let's start. Yes. All right. I want to discuss this negative sign. All right. And if you don't understand the negative signs of the world, I'm here to explain it to you. All right. In math, they express the negative signs as a minus. They call it the minus sign. And what the minus sign is, is a flat line, right? A line that is lying flat, okay? And then this negative sign is all over the world and it's expressed in anatomy, biology, you know? And then, um, if you know anything about this negative science, it expresses itself in human, human beings as science. And, and, and people wonder why these things are happening, right? Because you did too much negativity within your life. You talk too negative. And that's the basis of what I'm saying. What I'm saying is what you're saying out of your mouth to other people. Uh, is bad and I just recently start talking bad or oh, my tonal sounds in my voice recently started sounding bad since my father died towards the ones that I call my family and friends so they was like something is wrong with me and my tonal voice always was kind of like in in, in 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 bad shape with my um spouse you know what i mean it wasn't it wasn't really positive so she ended up leaving right and taking my two sons who i adored right but i think it was a little bit of negativity and on her part too you know what i'm saying maybe a little jealousy i don't know you know what i'm saying but you know when the negative and negative come together you can never have a positive and that's mathematics so when you look at this sign right this minus sign it is a line right a flat line and you can liken it to a person laying down okay so that's where i'm going to leave off so you can understand all Chapter right two. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, saith the Lord of hosts, I will even send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt your seed, and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feasts, and one shall take you away with it. And ye shall know that I have sent this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me, and was afraid before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth, and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity, and did turn many away from iniquity. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should seek the law at his mouth. 
for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. But ye are departed out of the way, ye have caused many to stumble at the law, ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people, according as ye have not kept my ways, but have been partial in the law. Have we not all one Father? Hath not one God created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother, by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Judah hath dealt treacherously, and an abomination is committed in Israel and in Jerusalem. For Judah hath profaned the holiness of the Lord which he loved, and hath married the daughter of a strange God. The Lord will cut off the man that doeth this, the master and the scholar, out of the tabernacles of Jacob, and him that offereth an offering unto the Lord of hosts. And this have ye done again, covering the altar of the Lord with tears, with weeping, and with crying out, insomuch that he regardeth not the offering any more, or receiveth it with good will at your hand. Yet ye say, Wherefore? Because the Lord hath been witness between thee and the wife of thy youth, against whom thou hast dealt treacherously, yet is she thy companion and the wife of thy covenant, and did not he make one? Yet had he the residue of the Spirit. And wherefore one? That he might seek a godly seed. Therefore take heed to your spirit, and let none deal treacherously against the wife of his youth. For the Lord, the God of Israel, saith that he hateth putting away. For one covereth violence with his garment, saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore take heed to your spirit, that ye deal not treacherously. Ye have wearied the Lord with your words, yet ye say, Wherein have we wearied him? When ye say, Every one that doeth evil is good in the sight of the Lord, and he delighteth in them. Or where is the God of judgment? Thank <laughs> you.